of the primeval priest assumed power, then Eternal spurned back his religion and gave him a place in the north, obscure, shadowy, void, solitary. risen in eternity, unknown, unprolific, self-closed, all-repelling, what demon had formed this abominable void, this soul-shuddering vacuum. Dark revolving in silenced activity, unseen, in tormenting passions, an activity unknown and horrible, a self contemplating shadow in an almost labors occupied. But Eternals beheld his vast forest. Ages on ages he lay closed, unknown, brooding shut in the deep, all avoid the petrific, abominable chaos. His cold horrors silent, dark urizen prepared. His ten thousand of thunders, rage and gloom the ray, stretched out across the dread world, and the rolling of wheels as of swelling seas, sound in his clouds, in his hills of stored snows, in his mountains of hail and ice. Voices of terror are heard, like thunders of autumn, when the cloud blazes over the harvests.
From the dark of dark solitude, from the eternal abode in my holiness hidden, set apart in my stern counsels, reserved for the days of futurity, I have sought for a joy without pain, for a solid without fluctuation. Why will you die, or Eternals? Why live in unquenchable burning? Thirst I fought with the fire consumed. Inwards, into a deep world within. A void immense, wild, dark and deep. Where nothing was nature's white womb, and self balanced stretched over the void. The wind's muscle is bound, but condensing in torrents. They fall and fall strong. I repelled the vast waves and arose on the waters. A wide world of solid obstruction. They saw his pale visage emerge from the darkness, his hand on the rocks of eternity, and clasping the Book of Brass. Rage seized the strong!
said, what is this? Death? Urizen is a clod of clay. Loss, hold in a dismal stupor, groaning, gnashing, groaning, till the wrenching apart was healed. But the wrenching of Urizen healed not. Cold, speechless, flesh of clay, rifted with direful changes, he lay in a dreamless night. Till loss roast his fires, affrighted at the formless and measurable death. <laughs> 